I've been thinking about this lately. It's, uh, I know it's a bit of an impromptu video, but I wanted to go ahead and get this thought out there for all of you. You cannot succeed without failing. You will never succeed without failing. It is literally impossible for a human being to go through life and do the right things. You learn what is right by doing what is wrong and correcting yourself, or by being told that something is wrong based on someone else's learning, and through your other learning realizing that they're probably right. But for the most part, people learn by screwing up. So that means that you are flawed and will make mistakes. You are a screw-up. You make mistakes because you're human. So don't be afraid of the fact that you're going to fail. No one succeeds when they try to do something complicated for the first time. Everything in life is an iterative process. You do not create perfection on your first attempt or sometimes even your hundredth attempt. Notably, Thomas Edison, who made, well, he didn't make the light bulb, but one can argue that he made the first practical light bulb filament. And the way that he did this is not through divining that this would be the best thing to do, but rather, it took about a thousand tries with a thousand different materials set up in different ways for him to find something that worked, that lasted a long enough time to make the bulb practical. I swear I caught that bug that was right there in the air and it got away anyway. See? I can't even do that right the first time. So don't be afraid of failure, because failure is something that you take on the steps to success. It is the stairway that leads to success. You're gonna screw up, you're gonna fail. How many artists drew garbage for years? How many people forget to turn off their phone notifications even though they've been doing video work for several years professionally? <laughs> this guy right here. Uh, that's the one thing I always seem to forget is to turn off the phones. But the point is, you're gonna make garbage, especially with anything that is beyond trivial. You will make trash. You will be horrible. You will not be capable. You will do things that don't look like the people that have been doing it for a long time, that don't look like the people who are trained, that don't look like the people who have already screwed up. Do you know what my definition of a professional is? A professional is someone who's already made all of the mistakes and knows how to avoid them. At least that's with my field and a lot of other fields that involve troubleshooting and repair, any kind of critical thinking. As far as artistic stuff goes, eh, kind of the same thing. It's someone who's already drawn a whole lot of really, really bad stick figures. A lot of circles that don't end where they started drawing them. A lot of things that just aren't right. A lot of 3D models that sort of look like they just hammered a bunch of Legos together and melted them with a lighter instead of looking like a human face. Oh god, there's just thinking about that makes me laugh. <laughs> Please don't do that on purpose. Please don't. But the point is made. You don't become good at something by just magically being good at it. You're gonna screw up. And so, there are two sides to this that I want to go over here. One of them being that success is born out of failure, but also that you should not be mad at people for doing things incorrectly, for doing them wrong, for making mistakes, for thinking wrong things, for doing things that are wrong. Everybody changes. It is in a human's nature to change. You know, for a long time, especially in, say, um, criminal justice, the the way that people tend to believe is that the best predictor of future behavior is past behavior. That's why criminal records are a thing. That's why credit reports are a thing. And sometimes that does work. But for the most part, people change over time. And someone is not going to be the same person in 10 years that they were before. 
I mean, there are always exceptions to generalizations. It's not useful to point out that they exist. The generalization is still accurate. The point is that people are prone to do very dumb things, especially if they don't know or if they're not thinking or if they have the hubris to think that, well, it won't happen to me or I won't make a mistake or no one will catch me doing a wrong thing. Sometimes people have to find out, oh, huh, well, it did happen to me, or I did get caught doing something stupid. And that's how you learn that, you know, your invincibility, your Dunning-Kruger brilliance, the amazing amount of skill that you think you have in a thing that you've never done, or that you think that you somehow will do it better than everybody else before you, that goes away by screwing up. And yeah, a lot of people won't screw up certain things. They'll listen to the people that tell them, yeah, don't do that. Don't do it that way. Don't do this. You know, do it this other way. And maybe they'll avoid those screw-ups, but other screw-ups will fill their place. You don't grow by not screwing up. So don't hold it against people too hard when they make a mistake. And let people grow and accept the fact that people grow. This kind of spirals into the cancel culture thing, because for cancel culture in particular, what people think is that this person who said a thing a year ago, two years ago, five years ago, hell, three months ago, or 15 years ago, people dig up tweets from the 2000s, and it's 2021, and use that to crucify other people. But how many of you, and I know that some of you watching this probably will not even have the age to do this, but how many of you can look back 10 years prior and go, that's the same person that I am today? You know, when I was 18 and now that I'm 28, that 18 year old me, that's who I still am. I do, I, I do the same things, haven't really changed. You know, no, nobody stays the same. You learn a lot, you change a lot, you need to let people change, and you need to accept the fact that people change and allow that change to flourish. And you know what? If, if someone is still learning, what you need to do is guide them, not shit on them, <laughs> basically. Anyway, I hope that you've learned something from this. Uh, you know, the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, look down in the description for links to support me and go to jodybrewshum.com. Check out Jody Spicy Takes, which is where this will probably end up and eventually will be the only place you can watch my more political leaning videos. Until next time, take care. I feel like Al Borland from Home Improvement. I don't think so, Tim. Have a good one.